Hello fellas, today's video is going to be a short one and it's about improving the quality of an image like this using some tricks in Adobe Photoshop, so let's get started. Let me tell you beforehand that this trick is applicable only with images that have a color or two. Also, if you look at the image, actually let me zoom into this image. Now you can see it starts to pixelate when I zoom in as it's a very low res image and uh, has a size of 414 by 414 pixels. Using the trick will work for sure but it does come at the cost of losing some details at the same time. So first of all let's make a duplicate of this layer by pressing command J on a Mac or control J on a PC as we always protect the original layer of the image. And uh, now I'm going to make the original layer invisible by clicking on the visibility icon. So first things first, let's go to image and then image size. And let's change the pixels to 3000. And since the link is locked, it will maintain aspect ratio automatically. You can already find that just by increasing the size of the pixels, it has gotten better to some extent, although not satisfactory, but we'll fix the rest momentarily. So just hit OK and let's zoom in and uh, now go to filter and then blur and select Gaussian blur from here. Now from here, what we're trying to achieve is to blur the inner and outer areas adjoining the lines of this bird. So the blur will make it light gray from black and using another option will turn the gray to white and the black lines denser. So keeping that in mind, let's turn the radius to about the size where you start to see the black lines getting enveloped by a gray smoky blur. So I'm going to turn it up to about 4.5 pixels. I think that should do the job. Now let me zoom in to show you what the Gaussian Blur has done to this image. You see the outer and inner lines have evenly turned light grey, so much so that they can easily be wiped out using another feature of Photoshop. And uh, at the same time, the black that is sandwiched between the grey on both sides will be made denser, and hence the quality of the image will be improved. Okay, now let's go to create new fill or adjustment layer button at the bottom of the layers panel and select curves from there. And now from the curves panel, you can find the white slider to the right and black slider to the left. Try to bring them closer to somewhere around the midpoint and you'll find your image improving while you do so. How much you should move your slider is entirely dependent to your image and how well it is improving as you move the sliders. It also depends on how bad the quality of your image was before this attempt of yours. So you be the judge of that and try to adjust it to a point where it doesn't lose much of the details of the image as details are important. Alright, I think we've done a fairly good job so let me pat my back. And let's see the difference between the original image and this one by hiding this image. So that's the original image. And that's the image after our enhancement. Impressive, isn't it? So like I promised, it's going to be a short one today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.